How's it going guys? Just want to make a quick video about the action of these Rocksteads since somebody asked about it in the thread. So uh, I was going to start out by showing the Chi real quick. It does, uh, I guess, fall shut freely, but I guess it depends on uh, what you consider that, you know, how well it does it. I mean, here's the Sabenza. It does, if you disengage the lock bar, it will fall freely. So, uh, you know, once you have it in place, it will not. It's kind of kind of similar to the Chi. Same thing. But once you have it in place, it's, uh, it's a little tighter. Now the Ego, on the other hand, this one's a lot tighter. This one's not... Uh, not moving. It's more similar to the Sabenza, but again, it does fall freely when you disengage the lock. Now, to me, something that falls shut freely is uh, you know, something like this uh, Carson Lab Tech here. This thing just shuts freely like, like nothing. That's without even uh keeping the lock bar open. That just does it on its own. And a lot of this has nothing to do with bearings or washers or anything like that. It just happens to do with the pressure that the lock bar is putting on the tang of the knife. And that's what's allowing it to, you know, basically close smoothly or whatnot. Because you see if I'm if I push on the lock bar, this one does not like close as smoothly. Versus if I keep my fingers off the lock bar, it closes right up. And a lot of people think this is a bearings that do that. So another example is a ZT0454 that I tweaked. I uh, messed with the lock bar on this one a lot. I got this thing flipping nicely. Keeps Thorburn as well. Same thing. Real nice flipper on these. So, but back to the rock studs. They are, uh, I guess, smooth when you when you open them. There's no gritty feeling or nothing like that. And uh, you know, any well-made knife should do that. If it's a well-made knife, it should not uh, should not feel gritty when you're when you're opening it. It feels nice and smooth. And a lot of that has to do with the finish on the blade tang with the detent. And nine out of ten times, you're feeling the detent, and that's what gives it its smoothness. You know, uh, like this Oom um on right here. The action itself is smooth, really smooth, because this one's got the ceramic detent. It's got that big ceramic ball in there. But, uh, you know, the feeling on the detent and the tang is really smooth, but this one will not, you know, close shut it. <laughs> Just won't do it. But to me, smoothness is more about how it feels like this. Not about if it closes like this. So, that's that.